music theory starts with a line. Now this line is a time line. So time goes along there. Now, usually when you have a time line, you want to say what the units are. So, we could say that this line is one second long, or one day long. But in music theory, we don't do that. In music theory, we just say that this line is one long. So, we write that with this little blob. And we call this blob a whole note. But what's really important to notice is that it's not a whole of anything. It's just a one. A one over one. It's not one bar or one minute or one second or anything. It's just one. So when we want to divide the line into halves, we can say that these are half notes. And if we want to divide that again, we can call them quarter notes. And the next one will be eighth notes. So, there. So, eight, eighth notes, and we can also draw them like this. Or like this, but eight eight notes makes one whole note. So that's fairly straightforward. But people often do get confused by this whole word, and they'll they'll ask a whole what is it? So to avoid that whole confusion, it may be better to use the British naming convention. Now, in music, things have different names all the time. So, it's just important to have a common language to speak. So, instead of calling this thing a whole note, we can call it a semi-breathe. Now, this is quite a strange name, but if you just think of it as being half short, now at this point you're probably quite confused. Why would we call this a half short? Well, if that's a half short, two half shorts makes one short. So this note is called a breathe. But if that's short, we must have something that's long, surely. So two breathes Erase that makes one longer or like that, which is a longer. You don't see longers very often these days, but technically that's what they are. Now, if we divide a semi breathe just erase this as well, just to avoid confusion. If we divide a semi breathe in half, we get this thing, which is a minute. So there we have it. We have the shortest note, the minimum. Semi breathe, breathe longer. So it divides nicely like that. So these are the white notes. And um, in French, actually, this one over here is called a blanche, which means what? This one over here. So, it makes sense that in French, the longest of the black notes would be a noir. And that's what it is. But we're not, going to, we're not going to use French uh, naming convention. We'll keep with the British and call this a crotchet. And when we divide crotchets 
the graph. We had these no flags, as you saw earlier. And these are called waivers. And then if we, well, I should say equator just to keep it consistent. And then if we divide that in half, we get semi equators. And then the fun starts. Because if we divide semi equators in half, we get Demi semi quaders, which would be, well, let's finish this over here. So we'll just draw it like that. And if we divide that in half, take this one over here, divide it in half, we get two of these things, which are demi semi quaders. If we divide the demi semi quaders in half again, we get. Uh, let's do it like this. I'm just going to cut off the line there so it doesn't cause confusion. In fact, I'm going to erase all of this. So if we add an extra line, we get hemi, demi, semi quotes. And if we added another line, we would get semi, hemi, demi, semi quotes, which You'd be surprised it actually comes up more frequently than what we think in music. But still, the name does. Because usually one would just call these 1, 128. So, let me just draw out the whole thing here at double speed so you can see. So that's the whole system laid out there. Now, of course, we can carry on going down here by adding extra lines. And as I mentioned, we would get the heavy demi semi quaver, or the 164. And then the next one would be the 1 128, which I'm not sure if you can see down there at the bottom, um, which would be the semi heavy demi semi quaver. Now, one, one thing to notice, briefs are quite rare in modern notation. Longers you almost never see. semi briefs are quite common. But it's actually more common to see one 128th notes than longers in modern notation. Um, but in principle, you could carry this on going as long as you like and as small as you like. Um, it's just that you don't really need much more than that. Uh, but the most important thing to realize is that when we call a semi brief a whole note, it's not a whole of anything. It's just one whole note for the principle, for the, for the um, naming convention. And that is all you need to know about note names.